you and I share something in common. We seek happiness. In fact, all of us all around the world share this thing in common. From getting financial success, to getting the love that we want, to getting in better shape, we believe that when we achieve these things, we will end up in a better and much more happier place. And some of us spend our lives trying to find the answer to the question, what is the secret to happiness? And although we first have this perception that having all the money in the world is what will give us happiness, we end up getting surprised when we find out that some rich billionaire or multi-millionaire committed suicide despite having all the things that one could imagine. And then we find out that there's people out there who have close to nothing and they're happier than those who do have something. And I can attest to this because I've been to Mexico and I've been in small parts where it's a lot of poverty around. And I can tell you that I've met some people who have close to nothing compared to what people have here in the US. And those people appear to be more happier than those who are here who have the basic needs. And sadly, here in the US, mental health seems to be getting even worse. According to a survey done by Gallup in 2023, 29% of US adults report being diagnosed with depression at some point during their lifetimes, an increase from 19.6% in 2015. And one of the reasons I believe that people are experiencing more depression, more anxiety, overall just a worse mental health now than 30 years ago is because of the rise of social media. Social media can be great if you know how to use it and it has changed so many people's lives and I'm pretty sure you're aware of that by now but it can also ruin your life if you do not know how to use it and sadly the majority of people who are consumers do not know how to use social media and they end up getting affected by it in a negative way. Social media has caused people to compare their lives and this leaves them feeling depressed and anxious. And it goes deeper than just that because social media has also caused people to forget about what they currently have and to just focus on what it is that they don't have. They go on their phone and they're instantly reminded that they don't have the newest iPhone or that they're not in Turks and Caicos out having the time of their life. Nope, you just came home from work and you're tired and someone else is out there having a michelada on the beach. And the result is that you end up feeling like crap. A lot of us struggle with expressing gratitude and with appreciating what it is that we currently have at this moment. And you might be thinking to yourself, why should I? Someone is out there driving in the newest version of the mercedes-benz g-wagon and i'm out here driving this effed up honda civic but there is power in counting your blessings a couple of weeks ago my grandma was watching this youtube video and now this youtube channel their goal is basically to go around small parts of mexico where there's a lot of poverty and they basically help out people who need like essential things like food water money clothes etc and she was watching this one particular video of a girl who started living with her aunt because her mom and her stepdad had kicked her out they basically abandoned her they kicked her out of the house the girl would tell a little bit about her story about how her stepdad would hit her for no reason and she would tell her mom to tell him to not hit her because he is not the father the real father and so he basically has no right to be hitting her and she wouldn't do anything the mom the mom wouldn't do anything about it and so she ended up living with her aunt afterwards because they kicked her out and she says that now that she living with her aunt she feels a lot more happier but as i was watching the video the girl and her aunt ended up giving a tour of where they live of their house and how their situation is currently looking like and their house i'm not gonna lie is so small it's like the size of this room basically the house and the kitchen and the bathroom are outside the sink is outside and the bed that she lays on which is like a big mattress and it's only one it's not like she has like her own bed they all sleep together in one mattress and the crazy thing is is that her mattress like she doesn't even have a base like you see how we have beds here and like it has a, it comes with a base you could buy it her base is basically a pile of rocks and stones and it's basically under it so that it can lay the, the the mattress can lay on top of it and you could tell by watching the video as well that the girl doesn't really have new clothes her clothes look dirty and they kind of look old and after a while the guy who's you know the owner of the youtube channel he ends up giving the family the essentials food water clothes things that they need essentials that they need that they're lacking and the girl and the aunt started saying that they were really appreciative of the things that he was giving her because they sometimes lack food there sometimes go days where they don't have anything to eat and sometimes you know since she's a little girl and she obviously needs more nutrients sometimes the aunt has to go to like different local stores to ask if they can let, give them you know free food so that they could eat because not only does she takes care of her but she also takes care of her two own daughters because the lady has her own daughters as well and after watching that video i'm not gonna lie i was kind of like sad in a way because i'm like damn like who, like these little kids like they don't deserve you know to be living like that you know they were born and they just you know happen to be born in a family who just don't have really that much but it also made me grateful it made me grateful for the things that i currently have in my life and made me realize that i truly do have a lot of things to be grateful for one thing that i've realized especially here in america is that we rarely 
rarely ever stop and just appreciate the things that we currently have at this moment. You wake up, you go to work or you go to school, you come back home, you're feeling tired, and then you go on your phone and you go on social media and you start the cycle of comparison. And then you wonder why you feel like crap and why you can't appreciate the things that you currently have or you can't even become aware of it because you're too busy focusing on the things that you don't have. Sometimes you need to expose yourself to other countries, to other ways of living to really realize how truly best you really are in this moment right now. Because after I watched that video, it really made me realize how blessed and how grateful I should be for the things that I have, even for the opportunity to be doing this type of video right here, to be working on my goals, even having the opportunity to do those things is a blessing because there's other people who, instead of trying to focus on their goals, they're trying to focus on what can they do to eat today. This put me in a grateful state, which by the way, has a lot of tremendous benefits. Research shows that gratitude is a pleasant state and is linked to positive emotions like contentment, happiness, pride, and hope. And a survey was also done where over 90% of American teens and adults said that expressing gratitude made them feel extremely happy or somewhat happy. Gratitude is shown to strengthen our relationships, to improve our health, to motivate us to accomplish our goals, and also helps boost the life satisfaction that we feel. You could have all the things that you want in this life, all the money, all the material, all whatever it may be that you want. But if you never actually appreciate what it is that you have, then you'll feel like you still have nothing. And it's one of the reasons why we end up hearing about some billionaire or some multi millionaire who, you know, offed himself despite having all the things that one could want. A powerful method of experiencing greater levels of happiness to gratitude is to stop and look. But when you're busy being an entrepreneur or you're busy working a job while going to school or you're just busy working a job and trying to take care of family, it can be difficult to stop because we end up forgetting. So what we need to do is to set up routines so that we can stop and look because gratitude is not something that you can experience just once in a while. Gratitude is something that you can experience every single day, which will lead you to feeling happy. And I'm not going to lie, it's something that I experience every day because I have simple practices that I have in place throughout my day that helps me experience gratitude, which puts me in a high vibrational state. And that's what I want to share with you in this video. Express gratitude in the morning. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't remember the last time that I woke up and I was in a horrible mood. And the reason for that is because instead of doing what the normal person would do when they wake up, they instantly go on their phone and they start scrolling on social media, which by the way, is something that I used to do years ago, but I don't do it anymore. And it's because instead of doing that, what I do is I pray and I express gratitude for all the things that I currently have for even having the blessings to just wake up and be in good health. This puts me in a grateful state because now I count in my blessings and it puts me in a better perspective of my day to realize that no matter what happens at the end of the day, I have the basic needs. I'm in great health and I have the opportunity to work on my goals. And not a lot of people have those things. Studies have shown that expressing gratitude boosts your mood. And so it would be a good idea to wake up in the morning in a good mood. And you could do that by just simply counting your blessings, which takes you less than five minutes to do. Now you could do this in two ways. You can either write it down in the journal or you could just say it out loud. Personally, I say out loud what I'm grateful for, but both of those methods still work. The point is that you need to count your blessings as soon as you wake up. And there might be some people who might think, well, how can I be grateful if I'm depressed? I'm lonely. I'm out of shape. Well, be grateful at the fact that you woke up today and that you have the opportunity to change that because you do have the opportunity to change your situation because your situation is not fixed. You can change your situation if you choose to. And that in itself, the opportunity to do those things, the opportunity to get out of a depression, the opportunity to get in better shape, those are blessings in themselves. While you shower, express gratitude. Something that I've stopped doing, which I'm pretty sure every single person on this earth does is listening to music while I shower. And I'm not going to lie, in the beginning, it was feeling kind of weird because I have been doing this for so many years. I had the speaker, I had the music bumping while I'm showering, but now it's a lot different because now I shower and I don't have music on. And during this time that I don't have music and I'm showering, I have peace to myself. And so what I started to do is while I'm showering, which takes me less than a minute or two, I just start expressing gratitude for the things that I have to just remind myself of how blessed I truly am. And since I take cold showers, I'm not only getting a boost of dopamine, but I'm also getting a boost of life satisfaction. And you know that cold showers is known to boost your mood as well. And so by doing the expressing gratitude, and also showering with cold water at the same time, I'm elevating my vibrational state and I'm putting myself in a good mood. Realize it could be much worse. A couple of months ago, I felt like crap because I was using this hard drive and all of a sudden it just didn't want to work anymore. And I had all of my stuff in that hard drive. And the crazy thing is, the, the dumber thing about this, right? This is the, like the dumb part about this story, which you're going to think this dude is an idiot. I did not back up my stuff. I'm out here thinking that the world is crumbling. I'm out here feeling like crap. But later that day, I found out that a lady that my aunt knows found out that she could possibly have a brain tumor and that 
made my situation seem so little and so insignificant. Here I am thinking that the world is over because I had lost all of my stuff and there's some lady out there who possibly has a brain tumor. This made my situation seem so insignificant and it made me realize that it's not as bad as it seemed even though in the moment it did feel like so horrible because I'm like bro there's no way I just lost all of my stuff. And usually that is the case with most things in our life. We make things so big so out of proportion we made it make it seem like it's so horrible when in reality someone out there has it way worse than you. And you could apply this to anything. You might be thinking, well, how can I be grateful if I'm 5'5"? Five five? Well, at least be grateful that you're not 5'2 or 5'3. Well, how can I be grateful if I'm working minimum wage paycheck to paycheck? Well, at least be grateful that you're not broke and homeless. Sometimes we need that reality check in order to realize that our situation is not as bad as we make it seem and that we could always improve it. Spend less time on social media. I used to struggle with expressing gratitude mainly because I would always focus on what I didn't have instead of what I currently did have. And to be honest, social media was the thing that really caused a lot of that because back then as you guys all know my story i used to spend hours scrolling on social media and it was no surprise that i was usually focusing on what i didn't have because social media would point out what i didn't have instead of focusing or at least appreciating what i did currently have you have the basic needs food water clothes great health a place to live oh wait but you don't have a ferrari in your garage you also are not wearing designer clothes and you don't have diamond chain around your neck that must mean that you're not blessed this is what excessive social media use makes you feel or makes you think it makes you think that just because you don't have those things you are not blessed despite you having most of the things that someone in a third world country would die to have and so i suggest that you do either one of two things you either spend less time on social media, which if you still wanna be on social media, at least spend maximum of 30 minutes daily on social media, which is shown to decrease a lot of anxiety and depressive symptoms. Or you could just go on a social media detox which you would do for a month or two. So just experience life without social media and you can get back control of your life. This will boost your mental health and will leave you wanting to live real life more than this fake Instagram life that you want to live. I used to think that being grateful would kill my drive, which is why I never really would take the time to count my blessings. But I ended up realizing now that I've been on the journey on accomplishing my goals, I've realized that being grateful in the process of accomplishing your goals actually makes you more motivated and actually makes you more happier and grateful when it is that you achieve your goals. One thing that I've realized is that the process of whatever goal that you're trying to accomplish is longer than the event. The event is like becoming a millionaire or getting the girl that you want or reaching a career goal. Those are events that happen in life when you're accomplishing a goal. But the process, the work that you put in towards accomplishing that goal is going to be a lot longer. And so if you're miserable throughout the process, which is going to be a major part of your life, the longest one, and then you expect the event, which is when you reach the goal. If you expect that to make you happy, you're going to be disappointed when you realize that the event is just like a one day thing. Like once you reach a milestone, you experience that, you know, accomplishment in one day. The next day, you're going to be going back to the process. And if you are miserable during the process, then you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life because most of your life is full of processes and just tiny parts of it are full of events when you reach a certain milestone. The event is a short time and the process is a longer time. And so it would just be a smart idea to enjoy the process, which is going to be long instead of relying on the event to make you feel happy and joyful. You attract more abundance in your life when you are at a state of high vibration and joy and gratitude ranks high in the vibrational frequency chart and feelings like guilt and shame rank low in the vibrational frequency chart, which is why habits like porn makes you feel like crap. And it's why you lower over your vibration when you do those type of things. Whenever you practice bad habits, you lower your vibration. So start practicing the habit of gratitude daily by doing all the things that I just outlined in this video and by also spending less time on social media. And this will leave you in a high vibrational state which will also cause you to start attracting more positive blessings in your life and you will start to experience joy and happiness throughout your days because one thing is for sure god won't give you more things that you want in life if you are not yet appreciative of what he has given you so far so remember express gratitude daily because this is going to change your life but anyways that's all i got to say i'm out